Are you tired of FPS drops and lag ruining your CS2 matches? In this video, I'm going to show you advanced CS2 FPS optimization methods that the pros don't talk about, will boost your FPS, fix lag, and stop those annoying FPS drops once and for all, so stay with me till the end to unlock maximum performance in CS2 for 2025. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize windows for best performance for CS2. To make sure your Windows system runs as fast as possible, we are going to turn off all the visual effects that take up extra memory and use CPU power. First, click on the search bar and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on the option that shows up to open the performance options window. In this window, choose the setting that says adjust for best performance. This will turn off all the unnecessary visual effects that can slow down your system. However, if you still want your Windows system to look a little better and more readable, manually check the following two options. Smooth edges of screen fonts, which helps the text appear clearer and easier to read, and show thumbnails instead of icons, so you can see previews of your files instead of just plain icons. Once done, click apply to confirm your changes. Now go to the Advanced tab in the same Performance Options window. Under the section called Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This change will give more power to the apps and games that you are using instead of the programs that run in the background. After that, click OK to save everything. Your windows will now run faster, your programs will open quicker, and you will experience better and smoother performance while playing CS2. Step 2. Counter-Strike 2. Priority Registry Tweaks for Maximum Performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Open the folder that is named Counter-Strike 2 Priority. Inside this folder, you will see a few registry files that are designed to control how your CPU handles CS2. If you are using a low-end or not very powerful PC, select and run the file that is labeled Normal Priority. If you have a mid-range or average system, use the Medium Priority file. If your PC is a strong gaming or high-end system, then go ahead and use the high priority file. Using the right registry tweak file will help your CPU perform more efficiently based on how powerful your computer is. This improves the game's smoothness and makes the performance more stable by assigning the correct priority level to CS2. Step 3. Boost Windows Performance with Chris Titus Tech utility for Counter-Strike 2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will speed up your PC even more using a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool is very useful for disabling background services and apps that you don't need, which can slow down your system. First, open your FPS Boost Pack folder and find the text file that came with it. Open that text file and copy everything written in it. It contains the code needed for the next step. Now click on the search bar again and type PowerShell. When you see Windows PowerShell in the results, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. The Chris Titus Tech Utility tool will now open. In the tools interface, click on the tab labeled Tweaks. Here you will see a few different preset options. The minimal preset is great for most people. It removes extra apps and features that you don't need while keeping important things. The standard preset goes even further and removes more unnecessary services for better performance. Don't worry about messing anything up. The tool automatically creates a system restore point so you can undo any changes if needed. After choosing either minimal or standard, click the button labeled Run Tweaks. Once it finishes making the changes, close the tool. This will shut down unused background apps, fix FPS drops, and give you a smoother gaming experience in CS2. Step 4. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your computer's CPU has multiple cores that can run tasks at the same time, but to save power, Windows sometimes parks or disables some of those cores, which can lower performance while gaming. To fix this, we will unpark all of your CPU cores. When the tool opens, it will show you which of your CPU cores are parked and which are active. Click the Unpark button to activate all the parked cores. This will allow your CPU to use its full power while gaming. By making this change, your system will give you better performance and smoother gameplay when you are playing CS2. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. 
For example, I'll select Fortnite, click the boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region, select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step five, use MSI utility to optimize hardware performance for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. MSI Utility is another powerful tool that helps improve your computer's speed by lowering the delay between your hardware and the system. This makes your system more responsive. Once the download is complete, open the tool. It will show a list of all the devices connected to your system. Look for your dedicated graphics card, GPU, such as NVIDIA or AMD. Tick the checkbox in the MSI column next to your GPU. Then set the interrupt priority for that GPU to high. Next, locate your integrated GPU, such as Intel UHD graphics, and do the same. Check the MSI box and set its interrupt priority to high. When everything is selected correctly, click the Apply button in the lower right corner, then close the utility. This change helps reduce input delay and improves response times, giving you a better experience in CS2. Step 6. Boosting GPU performance with MSI Afterburner for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will improve your GPU's performance using a tool called MSI Afterburner. Go to the folder where you downloaded the tools and install MSI Afterburner. After the installation is complete, open the app to access its main interface. You will see sliders labeled Power Limit, Temperature Limit, Core Clock, and Memory Clock. Begin by increasing the Power Limit and Temperature Limit sliders to their maximum values. Do not change the core voltage. Leave it at the default setting. Now focus on the memory clock slider. Increase it slowly in small steps of 20 points. For example, if it is set to zero, increase it to 20. After making the change, launch your game and test it. If everything runs smoothly, you can increase the value further to 40 or even higher. Keep testing after each adjustment until you find a stable value that gives you the best performance. Once you are satisfied, click the apply button to save your settings. This will boost your GPU performance and help you get more FPS and smoother gameplay in CS2. Step 7. Reduce keyboard input lag using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter for Fortnite. Now we will reduce the delay between pressing a key and seeing it respond in-game by using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. When it opens, you will see three important settings that you need to change. First, set the ignore under value to zero mez. This removes any delay before your key press is detected. Then, set the repeat delay value to 130 in an This setting controls how quickly a key repeats if you hold it down. Finally, set the repeat rate to 10 in an which allows your keyboard to repeat key presses much faster. After changing all three settings, go to the right-hand side of the window and check the box to turn on these settings. Then click OK to save everything. These changes will make your keyboard respond faster and improve your control during fast-paced games like Fortnite. Step 8. Disabling HPET to prevent stuttering and FPS drops. There is a system component called HPET, which stands for High Precision Event Timer. Sometimes HPET can cause issues like stuttering or FPS drops in games. To disable HPET, right-click on the Start button and choose Device Manager from the menu. In the Device Manager window, scroll down and expand the section called System Devices. Look through the list and find an entry named High Precision Event Timer, HPET. Right-click on it and select Disable. Turning off HPE can remove the unwanted timing problems that cause lag and stuttering. After this change, your games, especially CS2, may run more smoothly and with fewer FPS drops. If this step-by-step -step guide helped you improve your PC's gaming speed and fix lag in CS2, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. More guides and full optimization videos are on the way. See you next time.